Hello everyone, this is an update to my current EDC setup. I was rocking a different bag. I got this bag from 511. I don't really like the inside the waistband holsters and I do have an outside the waistband holster that fits all the 75 series, compact and full size, and the competition models that I have. But it's currently on my lab shooter's belt and I don't want to take it on and off. And I prefer to use the shoulder strap bags because you can get a lot more utilitarian use out of them, in my opinion. And you can disperse the weight on your torso rather than on your pants. Because for anybody that's carried a gun, you know, inside the waistband or outside the waistband, that constant pulling down on your waistline can get annoying, especially when you carry an all-metal gun that's a little bit heavier than the polymer cousins. So my previous bag was this North Face Jeffster. This is a tiny bag compared to what I have now, but it got the job done because I was carrying the Glock 43 or the 43X. These will fit in there just fine. The 43X is uh, pushing it. Uh, this one is perfect, even with the plus two. So this bag, only really this, this and the P365 fit really well. The other ones were just slightly too big. But everything would fit in here nice and compact. The only problem is, is when you needed to get something out of it, you know, you had the loaded pistol in there and you had to rummage around in it. So this bag, I like a lot more. And then this pistol has a lot greater capacity and it shoots a lot better. So when you get your first concealed carry gun, a lot of people are going to think Glock or Sig and go for one of these polymer striker fire pistols because they're sleek, they're inexpensive. You can get 10 million different accessories for them. You don't really need a lot of special tools to work on them. They're very simple. You know, even changing the night sights is pretty simple on these. Lots of uh, aftermarket products, both holsters, different ways to carry it inside the waistband, outside the waistband, you name it. They even have the, you know, thing to make a light attachment, even though it doesn't have a rail because of how popular Glock is. So this is not a bad choice, but I think that this is a better choice because this is something that I can be more confident with and past seven yards, I can still do really well with this. So that's the difference between something like this and something like this is seven yards and in, no problems. Anything over that can't hit the blind side of a bar. And this is heavier and you get a better grip on it. And I personally like the decocker feature when you're carrying a loaded handgun and you just decock it and you got the first is the double action trigger pull. Now with this pistol, there is no external safety whatsoever. It's just the trigger safety, but I like this setup a little bit better. This isn't bad, but this is just a little bit better. This is more expensive, but the magazines, greater capacity, and there isn't as much product support for this as one of the downsides, but I'm gonna be carrying it in this bag. So the holster selection, being a little bit more expensive and less uh, choices. Still, there's a lot of different ones available. I'm just not a fan of the inside the waistband holsters. They're not comfortable to wear sitting down. I like where the weight is distributed on my shoulders and this is perfect. So if you're like me and you don't like the weight of the pistol weighing your pants line down, eventually, you know, you want something different. And this is what I found. So this is specifically designed for concealed carry but you know you can use it for other things i took the strap off just because it would be dangling in the way but there's a main strap that's the big wide one up here and then there's this third strap so you can wear it either as a waist uh, like a uh, fanny pack kind of thing or you can go across the shoulders and then this third one will hook into the main strap so you see it's kind of like those old school holsters that you see in the movies that people wear underneath their clothing where it has the you know the strap that runs underneath your lap muscle so kind of the same idea so i like that and you can really strap it down and these straps come on and off really easy so you, i have it off right now so you just literally push the plastic down and pull the metal thing back over it and the strap will go right back on there and the straps are big and thick and they're really long and you can stretch this I mean, you can be a guy that's 400 pounds and this will fit you, no problem. This strap is huge. I do wish that they did sell different straps, like different thicknesses of straps, because I think the thickness of this strap and the thickness of that strap, the differences, I think that they could come between an in-between thickness between this and this and use them both. I think this is too much 
and this is too little because I'm, I'm always fidgeting with this along my rib cage. And then this one you can adjust um, super tight or super loose. And this one, uh, it's not as much adjustability, but still it's really long. So you shouldn't have any problems getting this across your torso, I would imagine, even if you're 400 pounds. But this strap is much bigger, the third strap, not as big. So, you know, and the only reason it wouldn't fit is if you're an extreme, extremely large human. And another thing I like about this is the dispersal of the weight. So you can put your phone, your wallet, whatever you have in here. And then this is where I keep the pistol. And then the magazines I put right in there. And you can carry more magazines, you know, you can carry one in and then three also. So this has good capacity. But also, I like to put other stuff in there. So like I have my chapstick and my knife that's just cheap that I can put in there, right? The thing is, is the stuff moves around and it kind of falls out sometimes when, you know, you shuffle the bag around. That's the only thing is if I wish that these had like a, a like a cover, like a Velcro cover that you could Velcro the stuff down. Or same with here, if it had like a divider pocket of some sort. There is another pocket back here also that you can't even tell. So if you have kids, this is perfect because you can carry everything you need for your concealed carry stuff and then have stuff for your kids. So like sunscreen, it's summertime right now. You can put your sunscreen in here in one of these pockets, no problem, and still have plenty of room for everything else. Because I carry a wallet. I usually have a silver coin with me because it's real money. Uh, a brass pen. This is the Fisher Space Pen. Waterproof writing tablet. This notebook. You can already sell me keys and knife. And then a book of matches. And of course, my truck keys. So, all that fits in here and you can fit a ton of stuff more. Now when you have a smaller bag, like something like this, everything fits in there tighter, but then you can't get stuff out of it. So with this bag, you can get easy access in and out and you can put a lot more in it. And say if you have kids, you can put all the stuff that you're gonna need for your kids or if you have a pet, you know, you got one of those collapsible dog bowl things, you can attach it here because I've seen those those dog bowls that like collapse and they have like a little uh, carabiner thing on them. So you can attach that. You know, you can put some snacks for your dog, put some of those dog poop bags in there, put the leash in there. You know, the, the possibilities for this are, are endless, but it is specifically for concealed carry. And I did get this because it's bigger and heavier to fit the bigger and heavier CZ75 P01. I do like this pistol a lot. I have done some modifications to it. I put night sights on it, other than the factory sights, pretty garbage. I think that's pretty universal. And then the other modifications you can't really see on it. Um, I put some Cajun Gunworks parts in it. I changed the plunger spring, and I changed the hammer spring. I changed the firing pin spring, and I changed the recoil spring. And I do have plans to get the full metal guide rod and also install the full metal pin here along with the uh, reduced power uh, spring here for the trigger return spring and then possibly the lifter arm. So I've done some Cajunizing to this but I'm going to do a little bit more and I still have to get a light for it to be the complete package but this is how I like to carry is in these shoulder strap bags and I think that if you have a heavier all metal pistol something like this or say a staccato or something more bigger, heavier, expensive, you may want to consider something like this because you still can carry it comfortably either side and you can carry it several different ways. I just think that it's a better fit, especially for having a bigger, heavier gun. There's nothing wrong with these polymer guns. These are great for what these are. I really like this, but it doesn't hold a candle to this. Once you get out past seven yards, the lack of the grip size and the smaller, smaller barrel it's just not as accurate, but it gets the job done either way. So this is just to give you different options of what you can use for your concealed carry. So I highly recommend checking out 511 Tactical for different options as they come out with new stuff all the time. And they do have some new versions of these bags already, I believe I was looking at the other day. So if you pay attention in the next coming days, these episodes will build on each other. So there's going to be more similar content coming. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.